Hello there, this is Trafalgar Valentine, and this is my box design 9977, my 23rd design in my series for my new website that's coming up shortly. I want to try and do a new different design, so I'm thinking maybe some sort of interesting media mix between acrylics and maybe perhaps some ink work as well. We'll see what happens. I've started off with just a basic medium box with a small spray painted base of red, orange and yellow. And here I am just applying some simple shapes on top, some sort of cloud formations. Going in from the light colours to, to the dark colours from yellow, up to the oranges, up to the reds, up to the purples. Trying to keep the lighter focus right in the centre and trying to keep the darker areas around the corners. Sort of to pull the corners back and to draw the centre inside. After I've done these cloud formations, I'll be applying a few mountain kind of areas and things on the bottom edge, just to kind of give the foreground a bit more of a context. But I want the kind of effect of a distant kind of landscape, which is kind of what is needed. I'm using just very simple acrylic paints here, just a few colours I'll put in the description, and what kind of acrylic paints I'm using. I'll be also using pro markers on top of this as well, just to kind of highlight a few areas. So I think it'll be an interesting mix between the acrylics and the pro markers, especially with the design that I have in mind. I like to do lots of different designs and lots of try lots of new different ideas and effects. I don't really plan the effects or anything like that just because when I try and sketch them out, they always end up different than what the end result is. So it's always just good to have a good doodle and play around, see what happens and just find out what kind of effect it is. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't, but all good, it's all about the act of creating in the end anyway. With the mountain areas I like to apply like lighter cool colours on the right hand side, and with the box area you can move it around each side as well, so you just keep on moving the box around to make sure you keep on that symmetry. Just so the box is equal all the way around, not the same mountains, but just the same kind of general picture and mountain side with a rich background. And then I play, apply a darker purple tone on the opposite side, just to create that bit of shadow as well. I want to do some sort of pixelated design on top, I think, I think that'll be good strong contrast as well. And it'll be interesting to see how these two things actually mix as well. A smooth acrylic painting with a strong fixed pixelated background. With sort of the landscapes in the background, I think it would be interesting to do a sort of like a church design, like an ancient ruins or something, just to give the feel of some an old civilization that was there or something. When you do ruins or something like that, it kind of adds more to the actual picture. Because you're not just saying what is a structure here, but you're also saying what's happened to a structure as well. I want to do sort of a colourful fantasy design. Some bright colours that will contrast the cools and acrylics. I'll be doing a sense of sort of life as well, so I'll be adding lots of foliage as well. Lots of bright greens and lots of bright purples and stuff. To give the essence of the structure of, of the buildings I'll be doing. I'll just add a few archways, a few statues and stuff like that. Enough structures basically to give the effect of the ruined church. I haven't really measured anything. I don't really know the size of what I'm doing. It's just a rough sketches and rough pen work and stuff. So it's nothing planned so I prefer more of the surprise effect that will happen at the end. I'm using a calligraphy pen just on the edge with a chiseled edge just to give that square effect of the pixels so it's just squares for lines basically although it looks a little fuzzy from the background it will look a little more clearer basically this also gives the effect of looking clearer in the background and also will look clearer in the foreground with the acrylics as well The colour scheme I want to use for this, I want to try a variety of blues with pro markers and a few of the sharpie pens. Make sure that I've got highlight colours and dark colours and things. So for every blue I do, I've got another adjacent dark blue or a lighter blue. Every green there's a lighter yellow as well and every purple there's a lighter pink. Just to ensure that I can give that kind of 
depth with colour and not to make it too flat. When I apply the colours I try and apply the, keep from building layers of darks around each other. So around the black I'll apply the dark green, then from the dark green I'll apply the lighter green, yellow and so on until I just achieve that gradual variation of colour. The problem is with these designs are I've I keep forgetting that I've got to cut them out. So this is kind of a complex design to cut out and stuff. But again I think it will look good against the acrylic background I did on the box. As for the shadows and stuff like that, I'll apply those later with some grey tones on top of the actual Pro markers. This will pull things forward and push things back. So I'm using lots of different purples for this main building, so it'll be an old purple church basically. I think that's good fantasy colour basically, and it will good contrast with the warm colours of the acrylics I did before. I haven't really contrasted between these colours and what the box will look like. Like I said, it'll just be an all surprise. And I've done four designs in total for one side for each side of the box. It's going to be one larger one on one side and some smaller ones around it. So the box is equal all the way around but still has some different images so you could place the box in the centre of a, maybe a table or a desk or something and it will have an equal look all the way around it. Applying the grey tones on the bottom area so the light comes up from the top just to give it a bit more depth and a bit more 3D kind of effect. It will make some of the blues a lot darker and dull down a lot of the greens and stuff like that. Like I said, it's just a simple trick of putting a top layer of grey on top of your Pro Markers just to bring it all back. The greys I'll be using are the Fiber Castell Grey Pack. They come in a pack of about six different kind of greys. It's a good idea if that once you use a grey is to basically put it to one side as well. So you can use a variety of greys and a variety of colours and you don't use the same one twice. As you can see the other images I've done is a group of trees and a rock. I'm pulling back with greys and pulling forward and also I did a small little cute castle and a mushroom just like I said adding to the fantasy feel and these are rough images with again with the square pixelated blocks so it's just enough to actually give the general outline of it it hasn't gotten into too much detail of all the necessary needs for the castle and stuff For some of the purple structures as well, I might go in with the blue tone as well, just to smooth out the purples a little bit and give it a bit more of a bluish glow that mixes with the blue statues. It also is a, will be a good contrast to the reds that I put on the box as well. I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out, as it is completely random between these two different kind of dimensions. As there's the mention of the box of this fixed 3D like structure. There's also this flat paper as well that I'm going to be putting on top of it that will strengthen with cardboard but it'll be interesting to see how this paper on this flat image goes on top of these acrylics like I said a lot of my work and stuff like that is just experimentation with different effects different ideas different shapes sizes I don't want to do any duplicates of what I've done I much more prefer just experimenting doing some surprising things that I never thought would occur I do plan out a lot of sketches and a lot of books and stuff like that, but the thing is, I much prefer just to go with it, see what happens. A lot more fun. It's all about fun and creativity. I've applied a few windows and a few holes within the paper as well, just so you can see more of the background through it. It gives, it puts the plane of the dimensions onto another side as well, so you can see the dimension of the acrylics through the actual shapes I'll be doing but also around the outside when cutting it I just cut the large chunks on the outside and then basically after it's roughly cut out I start with the finer points basically and here you can see the trees and basically I'm just seeing what it would actually generally look like and try and position some of them 
some of the bigger ones I'll be putting around corners and stuff like that so I've got to kind of mould it around the box itself which is again quite a fun interesting idea because you're getting landscapes and structures and moulding them round objects so it's not just flat on a canvas but it's actually moulding around a 3D object how I'll be strengthening these images is just by applying them on a bit of drawing them around a bit of cardboard cut it out spray paint it black purple and red and stuff just to give it that background colour this will give it a bit more strength and structure but also add that 3D effect as well on top of the box so it'll lift above the box so there'll be two different levels to the actual image itself so the image will not just be a flat image but it'll also be a sort of a 3D image I'll apply a few extensions into the middle of the box as well so when I glue it on the edges aren't stuck to it but the centre is this makes it pop out a little bit more I'm using just a simple wood glue basically it's no more nails I find this glue is quite, works quite well and the glue dries invisible as well when I stick these images down just to ensure that it keeps flat I put a few close pegs on it this ensures that it just basically sticks on tight while I put it on the heater just to dry and also the clothes pegs have a very soft edge on them so it won't scratch or rip the paper or anything once these images are all stuck on and everything I will be applying a few highlights here and there just for finishing touches to ensure that the box is nice and stuff like that of course this is a box so it will open up and things I'll figure this out at the end but basically what I'll do is I'll just get a knife and cut right through the fold of where the box actually opens up and then even out the edges to ensure that they're secure and everything so the image on the outside will still be the same but it will split in half when the box is opened I might do a similar image on the inside I'm not quite sure yet but that's for future work I'm just trying to mold the images around the box right now to give it a 3D image and then I'll have to glue it all in place and hold it together so that corner shape maintains as well the larger image that I did with the statue face in the middle was probably a lot bigger than what I've presumed but anyway that's what the fun of it is I'll work with it, I'll go with it let's just see what happens, let's stick it on Let's see what it looks like. This is looking quite good so far and I'm quite happy with the results so I think I might probably create another one of these in the future not particularly this design but some things of something with these two medias as well acrylics in the background and a pixelated image on top I think it creates a good interest in that contrast that pops out here I am constructing the, the 3D box the 3D corner sorry, image just to get it all in place with the extension so it lifts up above it if there's any edges around the actual cardboard that I'll be working with I'll go back over it with a bit of glue, maybe a brush, a wet brush as well, just to ensure that it all maintains flat. I am working with paper and cardboard and stuff like that, so it requires a bit of working here and there and forth. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing the vi showing the photos of the work that the work once is completed. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. There's going to be a few more when I get a time to do it, and there's lots more different designs I'll be trying. I've got lots of different fun and lots of craft ideas so let's see what happens and just hope this video inspires you to maybe create some of your own thanks for watching